I'll go over one way to remove a tattoo using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. This approach can be used to remove anything from a flat surface. Whenever there is subject or camera movement, tracking is required. We'll use a planar tracker since we're dealing with a more or less flat surface. To begin, select a reference frame. This should be a frame where the tattoo is at its largest and clearest so the planar tracker has as much detail as possible to work with. Draw a shape around the tattoo. Only include areas that are on the same surface or plane, and don't include areas with independent movement. In this case, you wouldn't want to include the background or her face and hand. Click the Set button in the inspector to set the current frame as the reference frame. As she turns her body, the tattoo undergoes changes in perspective and scale. Cell set motion type to translation rotation scale. If you're not sure which to use, try the different options until you find one that works well. To reset the tracking data, go back to the reference frame and click the set button. Click the track the end button to begin tracking. Now click the go button to move back to the reference frame and click the track to start button. Play the clip to check if tracking was successful. Our shape is staying fixed on the tattoo, just what we want. Deselect all nodes and add a time stretcher node. Connect the media in node to the time stretcher node. Now there's two parallel streams of video. I'll load the Time Stretcher node into Viewer 2. We'll use it to create a freeze frame on the reference frame. To do that, remove the keyframe from the source time parameter in the inspector and input the reference frame number, 64 in this case. We'll use a paint node to remove the tattoo. Load it into Viewer 2. Select the Stroke tool. Under the Apply Control section in the Inspector, select Clone. Under Brush Controls, the size and softness of the brush can be adjusted. I'll increase the zoom level. First, select an area to clone. I'll place the brush under the tattoo and holding down the Option key, Alt key in Windows, I'll click the mouse. That's left a small X indicating the area that will be cloned. It's best to select an area close to the tattoo with matching skin tone. I'll paint over the tattoo. The small X moves along with the brush indicating which area is being cloned. You may need to select a new clone area every now and then. I'll do a little touching up to get the skin tones just right. This can be difficult and tedious. Adjusting the size and softness of the brush can help a lot. Use the Erase Apply mode to fix any mistakes, or press Command Z, Control Z in Windows to undo a stroke. Now we'll isolate the area with a mask. First add a Matte Control node. Deselect all nodes and add a polygon node. We'll use this to create a mask to isolate the area where the tattoo used to be. To make this easier, I'll disable the paint node so the tattoo is visible again. Select the polygon node and draw a shape around the tattoo. Leave a lot of space around the tattoo. It'll be needed later when we soften the edges of the polygon mask to help the overlay blend in. If there's not enough room, the tattoo will become visible when the edges are softened. I'll re-enable the paint node and load the matte control node into viewer 1. 
Holding down the Option key, Alt key, and Windows, drag the output of the Polygon node over the Mat Control node, release the mouse, and select Garbage Mat from the menu. In Viewer 1, there's a hole where the tattoo used to be. This is the opposite of what we're after. Select the Polygon node and put a check mark in the Invert field in the Inspector. Now we'll use the tracking data to keep that overlay fixed in place over the tattoo. Select the Planar Tracking node. Click the Create Planar Transform button in the Inspector. A new Planar Transform node has been created. Delete the Planar Tracker node or separate it from the node tree. It's no longer needed. Connect the Mac Control node to the Planar Transform node. And connect the output of the Planar Transform node to the output of the Media In node. Load the Media Out node into Viewer 2. Play the clip. The patch is staying in place and changing in perspective and scale, but it's not looking so hot. First soften the edge of the mask. Select the Polygon node. Uncheck Show View Controls to see better and adjust the soft edge slider. That's better. If you soften the edge too much, the tattoo will begin to show through. Depending on your footage, this may be all you have to do. It was for this clip, but for the current example, the change in lighting is posing a problem. This can be fixed with a brightness and contrast node. Insert it in between the paint and matte control nodes. I'll try adjusting the softness of the polygon. It's still dark in the latter part of the clip. I'll add a second brightness and contrast node to address that and keyframe its blend parameter so it's only visible when needed. All right, that looks pretty good. You can use this approach to remove blemishes, graffiti, or anything really from a flat surface. Thank you for watching.